Hi everyone, I will start by planing down my stock to the right thickness. For the feathers of the Native American, I'm using rainbow wood. You can get yours at atelierqube.be. Colored veneer is fantastic to work with and the possibilities are endless. As you can see, I'm gluing a strip of colored veneer to a strip of beech wood. I googled for a coloring book image of a Native American and now I'm gonna cut out all the pieces out of wood. To make sure everything fits perfectly, always transfer the edge of the first piece to the second piece and then you'll have a perfect fit. At the pencil I'm cutting as close as possible to the line but not onto the line. Now I'm sanding onto the line on the belt sander. I will be using blue and red veneer. The pieces with the colored veneers will be the tops of the feathers. I'm always test fitting after every piece I make. My bandsaw blade was too thick to get in these uh, small lines, so I will be using my scroll saw for this. Sand the edges of the feathers on the belt sander. Watch out! Don't sand away the colored veneer, because it's not that thick. Sanding time! As you can see, I colored some cardboard, green and yellow, to test if I like it. And yes, I like how it looks, so let's make it out of colored veneers from Atelier Cube. As you can see, they have beautiful colors. I will be cutting the small triangles with a knife, because on a pencil or scroll saw they are way too small to handle carefully. The bandsaw work is done, so time to clean up my bandsaw. I needed to do this for a long, long, long time. But it's heavy for a girl like me. But hey, I'm a tough girl. Here I will be making the frame. I made a plywood background, but I didn't film it. And I also didn't film the miters of the frame because it's very stressful for me. My dad was kind enough to help me, but he didn't want to be on the camera. So yeah, no footage of that. Here I'm using a simple wood burner, it's a very cheap one, 
and I will give the face and the feathers some more detail with it. Time for the final assembly and now it's time to add some finish and oh man look how the colors pop. Hi, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to check out my other videos of wooden decorations and wall art. I'm sure you will like it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!